Okay, so I'm back and today I'm going to show you uh, show you the stuff that I purchased from Philippines. So it's going to be a Philippine haul. Um, so this is everything that I've kind of bought. Put it into this bag so it's easier to show you guys. Okay, so I bought these shoes from SM and they're kind of similar to the... Um, strap shoes that everyone's kind of been coveting except they have this um a snake skin accent and even on the ankle strap so it's like a nudie suede material and this was from Gibby and the style number is Chesna and I got it in a size 5 and I think it was around 1300 pesos so that's around $35 or um, something like that, 40 maybe. So it's quite cheap. Um, and what else did I buy? I only bought two pairs, and this was again from Gibby from SM, and it's like that. It's it's like a, it's a nude pair as well, and it's got like mesh detail there. And yeah, this was on sale for 700 pesos, which is around 20 bucks. So that was really cheap. Um, that's it for shoes and then I bought some stuff from Mall of Asia so I got the Top Shop this Top Shop top it's got stud detail on the shoulders there and a skull on it um, I love this top this was um, this is in a size 10 which is a bit big but it fits loosely on me so it's like nice and baggy which is kind of perfect for the style that it is so I was happy about that and it was like the last one there and I think that was um fifty dollars um what else I also bought a blazer that I can't find at the moment bought this blazer which I absolutely love from Topshop it fits really really nicely on me this is what it looks like um this was seventy five dollars and um I got it in the petite section so so that meant it was kind of more for the shorter people and it cuts off really nicely on me so it's not super long so I can absolutely wear it with um, hand like because I find that when a blazer is too long it just looks like a coat on you when you're wearing pants and it just makes you look even shorter so um, it's nice that this is a little bit shorter than your typical average blazers um, and then from Zara I bought two pairs of pants I bought these um, white pair of pants um so it's like jean well it's just like a denim material but it's quite stretchy so it's like a jegging jean um and it has like a zip detail on the ankles there and um on the pocket um i got it in a white because i figure i never have anything like i don't have any white bottoms at all um and this one fit really nicely and um yeah i got it in, it's in the Zara basic department I got it in size 34 and um, this was $75 um, and I also got it in a black which is really really nice so got those two uh, the back one is in the wash at the moment so I can't show you guys really sorry about that the rest of this stuff is from um, the SM department store so I got this dress it's just like a skater dress with a texture detail there um, and it's in like a what is it green it's showing up more blue on the camera but yeah it's like a greeny ocean greeny color and I also got the same thing in a blush color so it's just got a V neck at the front as well so that fits really well and I got it from Betty and it's in a size small for 400, 550 pesos which is just over maybe fifteen dollars, just over ten dollars. And what else? Again from SM department store or Mall of Asia, I bought this pair this pair of pants. It's like floral design. Um I got it from the True Love. That's the True Love is the brand and it's it was six hundred pesos, so that is fifteen dollars. It's really really cute and it fits really well. So I got that. Um, I also got this from True Love. It's just a cardigan with love hearts on it. Super cute. It's very thin, so it's quite see-through. So it'll be really good for us for summer. It's like a 
cardigan you can just throw over when it's just a little bit chilly. And then I also got this that you guys may have seen me wear in my um, getting ready video to Mall of Asia. I bought this from the SM department store as well from Redhead is a brand. And I got it in a small and I think this was 600 pesos or something like that. Which is around about $15 as well. So really cheap. Um, and then the last thing I bought from the SM department store is this dress by Betty. It's just like a nice conservative um, black dress. Um, sleeveless with bow detail and then an A-line skirt which would be really nice for the hospital and this was um, 600 pesos so $15 and then I bought some dresses from Mags I always go to Mags it's like this little boutique store in SM um, so I got this dress it's like a um, bodycon dress with mirrored um, what is this floral design at the front and at the back it's got an exposed zipper so it's got like a racer back cut at the front and at the back um, and this was 985 pesos which is around 25 what, $25 yeah I would say around $25 and of course I saw it in the pink one first and absolutely loved it um, and it fits really nicely on me so I got it in both the colours and then I got this bright like colour block it's not really a colour block because it's got a print on it but it's just um, this shift dress um, it's got this really fun bright orange design at the front there and then it's got some white cap sleeves and this was 1,300 pesos, $30, $35 or something like that. So this one was a little bit more expensive, um, but it was fine. It wasn't that expensive. And then the last dress that I bought from there is this. Um, a, this one's more of a color block dress, but it's again another shift dress. This comes straight down. Um, it's got this down sleeve detail on the um, the shoulders there, and then it comes with this denim belt that you pull a white belt on top. And then I also bought this bag from Mags because everyone was just asking me where I got it from when I showed it to you on um, um, on my Instagram. So it's just like a black and it kind of looks quite vintagey um, and it says mags at the front there and it's just really really big so it's got all my um, uni hospital material in there so that was 1300 and my mum bought that for me for my birthday which was really nice of her before I left um, so that was around $30 or $35 and then from Mango I bought this shirt with like the neon um, mesh detail at the top there so this is my little participation into the neon trend now that we're going into spring summer hopefully soon well, I'm looking forward to it and then the rest of the stuff is just makeup a ton of the Eber Bellina, um what do you call this matte lipsticks so I got it in love that red which is just this gorgeous blue based red um, it's absolutely stunning got sienna sienna's and um, this one is like a muted brown rose color got it in skin which is like a nude uh, which I really liked um, I got it in storm which is just another like brownie red color Port, which is another red. Oh my gosh, I've got so many. This one's more brown than red. So that's that one there, Port. Um, don't ask why I got all of this. It was 150 so I thought that was really cheap. This of New York, which is again like a similar like brownie red colour. got the Everbellina Studio Finish Stick Foundation in cream, which I like to use as a um, highlighter underneath my eyes. One of the liquid liners because I wanted to try it out and it was only 150 pesos each so that's like three four dollars 
Um, and then I went to Pinky Swear Cosmetics. They were selling um, what do you call this? eyeshadows. Um, and they sold it in the pans. I got eight. And if you purchase four, you get these two um, eyeshadow palettes. So I got Royal Blue, which is more of a purple color, actually. And these were 75 pesos each, so $2. It's just a really nice purple. I got um, Deep Brown. It's this gorgeous matte brown color. Root Beer. Just that. It's like a ready purple brown. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, I got Lilac, which is ridiculous because this is blue. I think they got the things wrong, I swear. Just a blue. Purple, grape, purple colour. And they're super pigmented, so you can see that. Pretty good for the value, too. Brown, which is another matte brown. Would be really nice to use in the crease. So this one's a lot softer than the other brown, which is called, like, deep brown or something. I've got skin tone, which would be a really good transition colour to blend it up into your highlight. So that skin tone. There. And then the last one is called bronze. It's gorgeous. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna pop them into these little palettes later on. That's my Philippines haul. I hope you guys enjoy this. I am out. I think I'm done for filming for today. I filmed like four videos. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!